Hi guys, it's Sue and welcome to my channel. It's been pretty much forever since I've made a video and as you guys know, I am still pregnant actually. I wish I would not because this baby right here is keeping me up all night. Literally, I cannot sleep. The max I get is maybe like an hour of sleep. I am in my 37th week, which means baby could come anytime. I also had to deal with premature labor, so we were kind of expecting him to come early, like around 36, maybe 35. But he's been staying in there. He's pretty comfy, so I'm like, please, get out, baby. I'm completely done. I just want him out. Please, Jesus. But today I finally am back with another video for you guys and I thought it would be super fun to do a video on my hospital bags that I have packed and they're ready to go. I have two bags. One is for baby, one is for my husband and I. I still have to put a couple things in but I want to show you guys what I have so far. And of course if I'm missing something that you think would be important, I would love for you guys to just comment it down below. So I gotta know what to put in there. It's my first baby so of course I'm a little like, I don't know what to pack. Let's get right into the video. The first thing I have in my bag are slippers. These I got from Old Navy. They're just a kind of pink blush color. But since everybody told me that the floors there are nasty and you don't want to take a shower barefoot and I've kind of experienced the whole surrounding and how it is when I went to premature labor and was at the hospital for a couple days. I'm really glad that I got those. They were literally only $2.50 at Old Navy. So they have like this deal right now. You should actually go there and get them. They're so cheap. I also packed a couple of socks. Those are just like fluffy warm socks that I can wear when I'm in bed, when I'm freezing or when I'm walking around in case I don't want to wear the slippers. I also packed pajamas, something to wear after I had the baby because I'm not sure how long I'll be staying. I'm going for a natural birth so I hope I don't have to have like an emergency c-section. Everything looks fine right now. Baby's head down so it's not really a clue that I would have to have a c-section. But in case it happens, you have to stay there I think three to four days but it just depends on how you're doing, how baby's doing. But I got my own pair of pajamas right here. Then I also got about three different outfits that I packed. I have a plain black dress and a plain pink dress. Those are actual maternity dresses because they do tell you that your belly is still gonna be there and I've seen pictures and I've talked to my friends that had babies. You will still look pregnant after you gave birth which is kind of weird but I mean I guess I'll take it. I'm just gonna be probably so overwhelmed with having my little baby right there and I'm so excited and I can't wait and I want to out. I also got this little adapter where you can plug in your phone chargers so I'm sure that my phone is charged, my husband's phone is charged. Last time we only had one charger, so we had to kind of split it and then my phone was almost dying. You know, you want to have your phone charged for pictures or just to let people know what's going on. So I brought this little charger adapter thingy that I can just plug into the wall and we'll have enough outlets to charge our phones, which is great. There's a couple things that I haven't packed in my bag because I'm unsure if I will actually need them. I do have nursing pads because I am leaking like crazy. I'm literally a cow already. I wasn't sure if I will need them right away because the milk does come in later on. So I might take them. Might not take him. I'm not sure if my hospital provides them. I do know my hospital provides pads. They provide diapers. They provide like a little blanket and like an outfit for the baby. But I do have an outfit but we'll go over that when I go to my baby's bag. They have the common stuff that you will need after giving birth like big old pads and all that grandma stuff like mesh underwear which everybody told me you can actually stack and take home which I will be because I am not paying for stuff like that. I am going to pack my husband to Two, three outfits. Our hospital is 15 minutes away from a house, which is great. He can always come home, take a quick shower, and just change here. So it's not like the end of the world if I forgot his outfits. You know, which I might. I might forget his outfits. The last thing I'm going to pack into my bag last minute because I want to make sure it's not wrinkly is my special hospital gown that I got from Stork Delivery. It's so Cute. I like love this thing. It's literally pink. It has unicorns and glitters. I mean, let's just let's just be real. This is like totally me. If you guys have been to the hospital, have given birth, have been in triage, the first thing they do is they tell you to go to the restroom, take off all your clothes. You can leave your bra on, which is like still pretty revealing. But they do give you a hospital gown, which is ugly, long. I know they're washed, but I feel like somebody has worn them before, which they obviously have. I want to make sure I look cute even when I give birth. I'm going to be wearing this. It comes with a little bow that I'm going to tie around my belly. I've been having a couple contractions that just taper off after a while. Like they're there for two hours. I'm like, yes, yes, this is the moment, but then it's not. That's going to be pretty much it. I will have my phone and my charger in there, camera, a couple snacks for my husband, maybe a couple snacks that I might eat. 
onto baby's bag. What I got packed for him are just a couple essentials. I have a homecoming outfit in here that I'm not gonna show you guys right now because it's gonna be a surprise. I wanna make sure that the picture on Instagram is gonna be the first time you guys actually see his homecoming outfit. It's super cute. My mom got it for him, so we're so excited for him to wear it. It's super cute. Then I got another little plain white onesie that says his name on here actually so I can't show that to you guys either because I'm revealing that as soon as you post a picture of course. We're also going to be filming a birth vlog. Make sure to look out for that. It's going to be pretty intense. I've been really good with the pain, the contractions. Then I have this little folder right here which contains the birth plan. I kind of printed it out a couple times about like 20 times just because yeah, that's my husband. Uh, don't mind him. He's playing Fortnite and it's destroying my life. I printed out my birth plan about 20 times just because I want to give it out to all the nurses. There will be shift changes. Don't know how long I'll be in labor. Kind of for everybody to know what I would wish for. Of course, I know you can't really stick to your birth plan. Things happen the way they happen. There's just a couple basic things that I want to make sure that stay the way they are. Then I also have a little picture of his ultrasound on here. I can't really show you the whole thing because his name was on there. Then I also have paperwork from my preterm labor on here where it has all the like little things that happen my prenatal records get the f get the f get the f God, I'm filming <laughs> get up I'm filming get up Get out. Look cute. Get out. I won't pick any diapers or wipes because our hospital provides it as far as I know. Toothbrushes, toothpaste. Then I have my brush in here, deodorant. Every single time I went to the hospital for a preterm labor, I did not have a hairbrush and I hated it. One of the times I went there, I had to stay for about three days. They even transferred me to a bigger hospital and ambulance because they thought he was gonna come out in 26 weeks. I didn't have a hairbrush. My hair looked like a big old like block of Fuzz, it was awful. But I have deodorant, I have hair clips, I have hair ties. Then I also want to see if I can maybe possibly get some dry shampoo. I don't know if I'm really fond of showering there or taking a shower or anything there. Also because I will have an IV. That's always like a kind of standard procedure that they do when you go to the hospital and give birth there. They give you an IV right away. I hate needles, so you guys know that, but it's necessary. So it's disgusting, I hate it, it hurts. I don't know if I can shower with it and how long I'll take until I take it out so I can take a shower. So probably gonna get dry shampoo. Those are my two bags that I have packed. If there's anything I forgot, if there's anything you guys think I should probably pack in my bag to make sure that I'm completely sad and completely happy at the hospital and don't have to run back and forth or send my husband on little shopping trips while I'm waiting for the baby to come out. Make sure to comment it down below and tell me what you think is super necessary, what I should totally pack, what you think is not gonna be necessary at all, what I should probably take out, and maybe comment your birth experience too. I'm super excited. I'm just waiting for this to happen, waiting to be in labor. I will let you guys know on Instagram when it happens so make sure to follow me on Instagram at Sue Rose right here we will have the birth vlog up for you guys as promised that was it I hope you guys really liked the video stay tuned until next time bye